Oh, go on, my real fam. I'm back. I'm out here walking. Doing my usual walk before it rains. Because, um, it's supposed to rain in about 30 minutes. Not that it matters. I got my little hood, but if it rains really hard, I'm screwed. So, I'm going to try to get some walking in. Before that happens, it's already been 19 minutes. I can show you. Yeah, almost 20 minutes. Weather feels great so far. I'm wearing my hot suit. Y'all been following my fitness channel a while ago. I um, brought this hot suit to sweat in. And it's been great. I'm sweating my ass off in this thing. My fitness journey is going pretty well. It's going pretty well so far. Um, I'm actually having less problems losing weight than I used to. It's shocking, you know? Very shocking, but it's not that shocking because, yeah, I mostly eat clean anyway. But again, consistency. I am becoming way more consistent with my walking. And more consistent with everything I do, my beach body workouts and all. Um, I'm finally getting on an actual schedule that I shouldn't miss, you know, to where I'm working out at least four days a week. And I shouldn't miss no beats this time. You know, the kids are less of an excuse now. Oh, there's one mile already. Anyway, um, yeah. It's less of a hassle, you know, using these kids as an excuse as to why I can't really work out because, you know, my oldest ones are a little bit older and she can make breakfast while I go out and walk and stuff like that. I gotta do what I gotta do because my kids are not in school, so, um, it's usually a hassle or, more so it used to be a little bit of a hassle to, um, leave all the time you know it used to be a hassle to leave all the time because you know they're young and stuff and i gotta i gotta get them set up i can't just walk out the house <laughs> so yeah it's been a lot better i've been happier me and my husband both like on his off days he walks with me sometimes um and you know it's been bliss Sometimes my brother-in-law, he comes out and walks with us. You know, it's been kind of interesting. But I enjoy my solo walks as well because I get to do my little videos and stuff. I haven't uploaded here in a while. That's because, again, I've been busy and I haven't been working on my consistency. It's like my husband's walking with me. He don't want the camera on, so <laughs> can't really do that then. But today, it's all good. It's all good. Um, what else has been going on? Y'all, <laughs> I have actually considered going keto. I have considered it. But, there are reasons why I did not further consider it. I didn't even, I didn't bother doing it because I don't enjoy the thought of restricting my body to any one thing. You know, because too much of anything is bad. So, if you're going without carbs for a long period of time, that's also bad for you, which is why people get the keto sickness. People get that keto sickness because they've gone too long without carbs, and their body just kind of goes in shock. You still need carbs to an extent. You still need some fat on your body. You can't just erase every piece of fat. It's just not good for you. So, you know, I've been considering keto for off and off for some years but this year I've been really considering it like damn I need to like cut these carbs out and just do my meat and produce but that's hard y'all because again I have five kids um I can't really meal prep the way I would like to per se I can't do the so-called meal prepping that some people will be doing you know they make the nice cute little containers on the side put them in the fridge lace with their rice and broccoli and chicken breasts one that's boring as hell. I would get tired of doing that same similar meal. And two, I don't have the time or space to cook for just myself. I just don't have it. 
I don't feel like doing it, you know? I gotta focus on making meals that my entire family can eat. So in that quest, I just haven't bothered. I, I can't be bothered. So it's another reason why I'm not doing keto. Um, I know I don't have to do keto to do meal prep, but again, I don't have the time and space to really do an efficient meal prep. Now what I do to eat, I mostly eat leftovers. I, what the hell are those? Okay. Weird big balloon things, I've never seen those before. Um, anyway, yeah. I don't have time like that, so I don't want to be bothered. But yeah, that's what I've been considering. And like I said, I don't want to be restricted. I don't want to put myself on severe restriction like that. I just don't believe in that. I don't believe that'll do me any real good. Because I don't want no keto sickness. <laughs> I don't want no sickness of any kind. Screw that. So, that's out. There's a lot of other things I don't like about keto. I gotta up my meat take intake. And if you know me, you know how I feel about meat. Meat, I want to eat sparingly. I want to find other sources of protein to eat along with my meat. But meat whew, is, um, meat is usually sparingly for me. I like to eat meat sparingly. Oh, wow. Look at these magnolia trees. I love these flowers. They're so gorgeous. I take pictures of them all the time. These are magnolia trees. Some of the flowers are dying. But yeah, that's my reason for not saying no to keto. I'm just not like that. I don't do these restrictive diets. You know, um, the only so-called restrictive diet I've ever really done and stuck to a bit was like no meat only. I've done that in the past. I have gone a week without eating meat. And that was all I could really go because my body was feeling it. <laughs> I didn't have really um, another really adequate source of protein, I suppose. So that's how that went, you know. But even so, I just don't want to restrict myself. I don't believe in completely cutting out carbs. Yes, carbs are bad. They are really bad. What the fuck? There's a pair of clothes here. I just a pair of clothes on the side of the road. Ew. Alright. I'm trying to get away from something like that. A lot of people were stealing these from these warehouses around here. But yeah, that's why I don't, I don't want to do keto. So. I am going to focus on walking right now. So I'm going to end this video. I'm going to focus and push and once I start jogging I'm gonna be out of breath and I'm gonna be able to talk so <laughs> that's it for now and thank you guys for watching peace out